Sad news for Meghan. Duchess Good Days ended after Oprah show The Truth to Exposes Horrifying Lies. Meghan Markle has been accused of going out for meals around London despite telling Oprah Winfrey that she was made to lie low in her own home. According to an unauthorized royal biography by Andrew Morton, the Duchess of Sussex, 40 was photographed in restaurants in Notting Hill. Meghan was joined by her husband Prince Harry for the Tell All interview, where the couple made a series of claims about their time as members of the royal family. During the two-hour TV special, the Duchess of Sussex described how she had been told not to see friends because she was oversaturated in the media and should lie low. However, according to claims made in six new chapters of Andrew Morton's book Meghan, a Hollywood princess, the ex-royal had been seen going for meals in London's Notting Hill among other outings. In an updated version of the book, which will be released later this month after first being published in 2018, Mr. Morton claims that the U.S. actress was also spotted going for beauty treatments, while paparazzi images of the sightings were turned down by British newspapers. Within the new chapters of Meghan, a Hollywood princess, Mr. Morton wrote, she also claimed that over one four-month period, she had only twice left the house, again indicating that she was a lonely prisoner hidden away by the men in grey. Yet she was seen out on numerous occasions, dinner and lunch appointments in Notting Hill, beauty treatments in Kensington and various shopping trips. Though she was snapped by the paparazzi, British newspapers declined to buy photographs of these excursions, claims Morton. UK regulations bar the use of material obtained through intimidation, harassment or persistent pursuit, which includes photographers following celebrities without their consent. Within the televised interview Meghan told Ms Winfrey, I remember so often people within the firm would say, well, you can't do this because it'll look like that. You can't. So, even, can I go and have lunch with my friends? No, 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 you're oversaturated, you're everywhere, it would be best for you to not go out to lunch with your friends. I go, well, I haven't left the house in months. She added, I mean, there was a day that one of the members of the family, she came over, and she said, why don't you just lay low for a little while, because you are everywhere right now. And I said, I've left the house twice in four months. I'm everywhere, but I am nowhere. And from that standpoint, I continued to say to people, I know there's an obsession with how things look, but has anyone talked about how it feels? Because right now, I could not feel lonelier. Mr. Morton also claims that the Duchess of Sussex experienced a curious kind of muzzling for the restrictions she reported were placed on her by the royal family. He wrote, she also felt silenced and trapped by the system, her passport, driver's license and keys were taken away from her as though she were entering an open prison. That didn't stop her, though, from making numerous speeches on female empowerment, equality and other issues while traveling around the world on private and commercial aircraft. It was a curious kind of muzzling. Meghan, 39, claimed in her TV interview that after joining the royal family, she did not see her passport again until she was in California. But insiders said she must have shown her passport to border officials at 12 countries she visited as a tourist during that time. Today reveals she flew off on 13 holidays after starting dating Harry, including trips to New York, Ibiza, Botswana, Italy, and Amsterdam. The Duchess told Oprah, you couldn't just go. You couldn't. I mean, you have to understand, as well, when I joined that family, that was the last time, until we came here, that I saw my passport, my driver's license, my keys. All that gets turned over. I didn't see any of that anymore. It is understood from royal sources that Meghan's passport had to be kept safe to ensure it did not fall into the wrong hands but it would still have been used by her for her holidays. All members of the royal family, apart from the Queen, require a passport to travel abroad.